Hey, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. Luck be a lady tonight. Do you know why? Why? Because we are going to tell you the seven lucky ways to win an upgrade. So here are seven different strategies that you can use to try and grab that upgrade for your next cruise. The first on our list is booking through a travel agent. Now that's who we started with when we got back into cruising in uh, 2013 <clears throat> is that uh, we did go through a travel agent. Yes, we did. and. It's nice to book through a travel agent. Uh, you can build a personal relationship mm -hmm. with them. Uh, and what we've heard is that if you call your travel agent about two to three weeks before sailing to check and see if there's any upgrades available. Now what the cruise line will want to do is they'll, they will want to fill the ship. Mm -hmm. Uh, they generally will sail at full capacity. So you check a few weeks before and say they might say, all right, we'll upgrade your customer because obviously the travel agent has the working relationship with right. the cruise line. We'll upgrade your customer from an inside to an ocean view so that we can sell that inside cabin. That's right. Now, many a time we have received a phone call yeah. from the cruise line wanting to know if we would upgrade. Now the only issue and problem that we have is that you know we are in a full turnaround handicap room so you know unless you're going to upgrade us from a full turn uh, handicap inside cabin to a full turnaround handicap balcony um, that's not going to work. So, so if you're confined to a wheelchair right. You need to book the cabin you want. Right. Don't be expecting an upgrade. Right. So remember, uh, when you get the call or you make the call, it needs to be apples to apples, handicap to handicap. Don't be uh, enamored with, ooh, I've been offered an upgrade, only to find out that you've gone from an interior handicap room uh, to a balcony regular stateroom that you can't get your wheelchair into. That you can't fit in. So, so um, we just wanted to let our, our handicapped subscribers mm -hmm. know, to know that. You, right. you need to be armed with that knowledge. That's right. So the second uh, roll of the dice, <laughs> per se, for winning your lucky upgrade would be to book a TBA room. Oh, there's always letters involved with these programs. I TBA. Know. So what does TBA stand for? Well, TBA stands for to be assigned. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, that works for a lot of people. Um, it does not work for us. And Kevin will explain why. Well, you cannot book a uh, handicap room if you're booking a TBA room. Um, other, lots of cruise lines call it different things. We're just using a generic term TBA. So um, when you book a TBA room, it means that you are getting that particular style of room and it could be in any category of that room. Mm -hmm. So if you watched our other videos, you know that there's, for example, an inside cabin, and there might be five or six uh, categories to that inside cabin. So in, a regular inside would be a, a 1A, uh, and then you've got a 1B, a 1C, a 1D, a 1E. It's basically telling you it might be on a higher deck, a more favorable location, mm -hmm. therefore you spend more money. Remember, prime real estate. Right. Different categories. So if you book a TBA room, you're guaranteed 
that you are going to be in that type of room. So if you booked a TBA inside cabin, you're in that type of room in inside cabin. You're guaranteed that. You may show up though on that day and they say, well, we have you in a balcony room. Oh, ah! why, thank you so much. What a lovely surprise. So that is what we call a number two for getting an upgrade at right. no charge. Right. However, you do have the chance right. that you will be in an inside cabin. Yeah, and that you're going nowhere, and what you booked is what you get. Exactly. So, our opinion is book the category that you wish to be in, mm -hmm. even if you're going to do a TBA. Right. So, if, if you're a balcony-only person, you book that balcony right. TBA. And if you get there... If you get there and, and you get a suite... It's just a bonus. It's sweet. Absolutely. Just remember to our uh, handicap accessible cruisers, uh, make sure you're in a handicap accessible cabin. Now, the third way you can get an upgrade mm -hmm. is... I'm rolling uh, the dice. Go on more cruises. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that. <laughs> so the more you cruise, the more often you cruise with the same cruise line mm -hmm. will kind of bump you up in status and the higher in status you are the better chances that you will get an upgrade yes. now i have to preface this mm -hmm. with saying not all cruise lines work this way uh, only certain ones do don't comment and ask which ones do and which ones don't because they're changing the rules all the time. Now, status, uh, keep, uh, we've noticed that all of a sudden these cruise lines have decided to shift and change. Yes. And so you're thinking, oh, I'm going to be gold or platinum. All of a sudden it's like, no, we've just changed that. And now these points that you've earned, no, you're not going to be gold or platinum. Right. So, our favorite cruise line that we go on uh, doesn't really treat you any differently based on your status for your upgrade. And that will bring us to the fourth roll of the dice, roll of the dice which is bid, bid, bid. Oh. You can get an upgrade, but you're paying for it. Now, you might not be happy with it, you got to pay for it, but I'm going to tell you uh, that on NCL, they don't just hand out upgrades anymore. You have to bid for your upgrade, and it helps the cruise line fill the ship, and it helps the cruiser get a more affordable cabin in a higher uh, category of a cabin than what they have booked. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Uh, we are cruising in October on the Jade, and one of my coworkers is going to be coming along with her husband. Yay! Hi, Darlene and David. Hi. They're coming with us. Wait until you see them on the vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they booked a TBA. What's a TBA room? To be assigned. They booked a TBA. When you got there. That's right. So they booked a TBA Ocean View cabin. On NCL, it's called the Guarantee. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were guaranteed an Ocean View room. Well, they got an email. <gasps> oh! From the Upgrade Fairy <laughs> that said you can bid on an upgrade for either a balcony or a mini suite. So they put in a price or a price range that they felt comfortable paying additionally to their uh, cruise fare that they had already booked. Mm -hmm. And guess what? <gasps> What? They are now assigned in a balcony oh, state wow. room. So they got the balcony. And oh, it was that's awesome. So they won the bid. They won the bid and it was very affordable. Now, keep your eyes open because I will be preparing a video uh, outlining exactly the process uh, for bidding for your upgrade on NCL in the future. I just think all of a sudden everybody's going to bidding. I see these crazy commercials on T. You know, I know. The crazy lady who's like, Hi, I'm Cindy, and I bid $17.85 to get this giant TV. I mean, yeah. I'm like, It's crazy. How do you do that? Because I'm, I'm all in on that. Well, we're just going to have to YouTube it. So, yeah. 
It's just kind of crazy. Bid, bid, bid. Get the deal at deals.com. <laughs> you remember Crazy Eddie? Oh, my God. That's just... <laughs> oh. So that was number four. That was number four, and that brings us to number five. Mm. And number five is... Choose a slower season for a better chance for an upgrade. Oh, that's right. Travel and cruise a little off-season. Right. So we are cruising technically during off-season because we're, we will be cruising in October, mm -hmm. which is hurricane season. Well, to the end of. Well, that's why we selected. There are many reasons why yes. we selected that cruise. That's true. But it is still is within the range of hurricane right. season now, and considered off season. Right. According to the uh, National Weather Service, from what I heard yesterday, September 10th is the date of what they call peak hurricane season. And as of this filming, uh -huh. uh, you, you obviously have all been watching the news with the devastation of Hurricane Harvey in Texas, and now Hurricane Irma is about to barrel through uh, through some Caribbean islands and past Cuba and possibly into Florida with Hurricane Jose two days behind her. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we are getting to uh, that approach, that peak time. But after that, I, of course, crossing my fingers that everything winds down to our October 26th sailing on the NCL Jade for my 60th birthday cruise. So, you know. So that brings us to number six. Mm, what's that? And that is all about choosing your ship sailing wisely. Ooh, that's part of the uh, experience that I'm not usually involved in. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, if you're really itching for that upgrade and you're hoping that it's going to come, first of all, I say, don't, don't hope it's going to come because chances are it's not coming. That's number one. But like the lottery. <laughs> it really is. It's like the lottery. Uh, but to increase your odds, you want to look for ships that are newer, right. ships larger. that are larger. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, the smaller ships, uh, which I guess you could say the ships that we sail on right. are the smaller ships, have more of what's considered a lower end room, which would be inside cabins, right. ocean views. And because um, they're smaller ships, they only have a limited amount correct. of ocean views and balconies and mini suites and suites. So if you're hoping to get that deal, you know, picking the ship that's the larger ship, which has, right. uh, you know, which carries 4,000, 5,000 passengers. 6,000. Uh, yeah, a lot of So rooms. like the Oasis of the Seas mm -hmm. for Royal Caribbean, uh, right. the NCL Bliss or Escape. Right. Uh, the Carnival Vista or Sunshine. Right, the big ships. You really want to be going after those large, large vessels. Right. Um, because, let's face it. More rooms and more options to get that. Correct. Upgrade. Now, the seventh and final lucky way to get an upgrade on your next cruise is... Something that most people don't think about. What? Well, if you wait until the second day of your cruise, the second day, so on most cruises it would be your first sea day, right? right. Because you board the ship at yeah, 3, 4 o'clock. We're leaving, sailing. we're waving, bye bye, little peons, we'll see you when we get back from our luxury cruise. Right. You have dinner, <laughs> you watch the show, you go to bed, you get up in the morning. Get your little fanny down to the uh, guest services desk and ask them if they have any empty rooms and can we be upgraded to them. So in other words, Frank and I always travel in an inside cabin. With the exception of this cruise coming up, I uh, sprung a little extra and I got him a lovely window. Right, we have an ocean view this time, but we had the balcony on the NCL Gem. And we got very spoiled. In 2015. And it was a handicap accessible room. So there was a link, ramp. Link above, right, you can see the tour. There was a ramp for the wheelchair to go a little incline and out into the larger bal uh, balcony. And it had the push button uh, door opener for me. So that was really, really nice. But generally, we prefer yeah. the inside cabins. We like to save money. Right, we like to save money, and we're not going to be in our cabins yeah. all the time. So, you know. So, you can go down, let's say we booked an inside cabin, 
And uh, we go down uh, the second day, which would normally, again, I said your first C day, and uh, ask if they have any right. balconies available, well, ocean views, right. maybe a suite. I know. We're like, hey, we're Kevin and Frank. You got any better rooms for us? So, what's the big deal? I know. If the answer is I mean, no, it's, you know. If it's no, it's no. It's no. If we're, it's yes. We're in the room we bought. Bonus. Yeah. And some cruise lines may want to upgrade you to uh, one of their better rooms because of um, uh, they can make a little bit of extra money mm -hmm. from you. So, again, there might not be a free, free right. upgrade in that instance, but they may say, right. look, we'll upgrade you for $50 more. Right. Uh, a this sailing. Where, We've had where, friends that have right. done this. And this is where Kevin will come to me and say, listen, we can get an upgrade, but it will cost such and such. Do you think it's worth it? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Should we stay where we are? Should we upgrade to that? You know, what do you think? And it depends. It depends on, for me, it would be the length of the cruise. Is it a short cruise? Is it a long cruise? Is it really worth it? Where are we going? What are we doing? Like, you know what? We're, we're, we're not going to be tied to the room. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Based on where we're going, I'd love to be in a balcony. And that's why we chose an ocean view this time, right. frankly, because we're doing a Southern Caribbean. Right. And um, if the deal had been there for the balcony, I would have booked it. Right. But... Um, based on the deal and based on handicap accessory cabins... We're accessible. Ex oh, it's accessory. I said accessory. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <laughs> we all get a little tongue tied now and then. I always get it. This isn't working right. <laughs> He's not communicating with her, and uh, <laughs> I see it, but it doesn't work sometimes. That's and all right. Accessible. We just need to get an upgrade for <laughs> oh, the head, right? right? And there are the mouth. I mean, I feel like I'm like. I'm like uh, data from Star Trek Next Generation. I need an upgrade. <laughs> so <laughs> those are your seven ways. Right. We're, what I, my point was that we are a little limited in terms of getting the upgrade because we have to go from a handicap accessible room to a handicap accessible room. So 99% of you out there have no issues, but those of us who are uh, in the handicap uh, community. community, we always have to go apples to apples. So there's your seven ways of possibly being lucky enough to get an upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, until our next meeting on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat, uh, we want to remind you to travel safe and cruise often.